okay. That's fine. <laughs> it's showing the little little loading. Oh, right, there's Hallie. Yeah. Hi, Hallie. <laughs> Hi, Hallie. Hi, Hallie. Okay, I checked to see if we were live. We sound good. Okay. All right, cool. I think we're live. Yeah, I think we're just on a delay. Cool. We All are, right, yeah, so I guess we delay. want to introduce ourselves like we did last time. I'm Leah. Mm -hmm. I'm Val. I'm Kira. <laughs> and I am RC. That was a better introduction than last time. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to our second live show. Today we're discussing Sorcerer of the Will Deeps. Is it Will Deeps or Wild Deeps? I okay, well, it's Will it Deeps. Revealed, you guys would know this if you had finished the book. Well, <laughs> but it is revealed later that Will Deeps is actually a shortening of Wild Deeps. So, well, okay then. <laughs> um. So yeah, as Sarah just said, uh, Val and I did not finish the book. We mm. both ended up doing it. Mm. Mm. Me, RC. <laughs> um, I ended up DNFing it at fifty three percent of the way through. So <laughs> you got you had an extra. You had a hundred pages left. Literally, I, I know that. <laughs> no, I did exactly fifty percent, and that was it. I wanted to DNF on twenty seven. Can you see how can you see how small this book is? Okay, I know, I know it's small. Extremely small. My my thumb, I think, is larger than. <laughs> Let me put it this way for y'all: I did not start it until today. I finished it forty minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> is that going to be the trend from now on? At, at least one of us is going to finish the book like an hour before. <laughs> <laughs> it was me last week. It was RC this week, who or two weeks ago. Who is it going to be next month? Probably me. Um, what are our what's our book next month? Is it? Um, it's a contemporary, star, isn't it? Yes, the star. It'll probably yeah. be me because I I always think I can finish oh, yeah, we contemporary. Didn't, we also we also never officially announced that. So well, there is book for next month. <laughs> there will be an announcement. Yeah, we will post an official announcement later, but that's the book we will be reading next month. Mm -hmm. All right, Hallie says, I liked it, I gave it three stars. So yes, what for those of you who finished, what did you <laughs> rate it? <laughs> for those of you who finished, for those of you who finished. <laughs> Marcy, do you wanna go first? <laughs> okay, so um, my writing is, to be determined because I'm actually going to re-listen to this again because oh I got the exact same vibes from Fifth Season and This Is How You Live the Time War where oh, wow. some of this I feel like went over my head mm -hmm. because that, oh, that writing style. Okay, no, if I'm ranking just on a writing style, writing style, five stars. Um, That's fair. Everything else, I am don't really know. I... Just, I feel like I, I don't know. It's gonna have to wait until I re-listen to it again, which I mean, it's sure. short, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you did the audio I, I did I uh, made, audio on physical. Okay. I think if I had listened to the audio, it may have helped. I had a really hard time reading the physical, but also I don't usually read like audiobooks for fantasy because I find it hard to follow. So I don't know if that would mm -hmm. help me. Well, I pair them together. So I did it with physical and audio at the same time. So you were time. reading as you were listening? Yeah. Okay. Which I feel like definitely helps. I agree with you on the point where a lot of this went over my head. And sorry. Um, a lot of this went over my head and it made me feel kind of dumb at times. And there yeah. were yes. points yes. where I noticed. So I, I don't know who knows this, but I'm a biology based major. And there mm -hmm. were points where I was like, if I didn't take like genetics classes and if I wasn't like a biology major, I would not understand a single word of this like entire chapter. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, but I, on the other front, the writing style did not sit with me for mm -hmm. some reason. It just didn't work for me um, at all. 
Regan says, I love, I the, love first the first page. Yeah. <laughs> With the letter? <laughs> I love you, Regan. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this book was very hard for me to follow. And mm -hmm. so many long words that, like, I know it was because of, like, the different, like, language or, like, that was going on. But even so, I just could not follow what was happening. Um, mm -hmm. And I was just really confused and it made me feel very dumb, which I don't usually feel reading books. So, yeah, there yeah. was, I mean, I liked the, like, the mix of vernaculars that was used a lot because mm -hmm. it went kind of, it confused me, but I liked it. Um, yeah. Or it kind of went from like this AAVE to like sometimes really, really like specific long words to there was mm -hmm. um, a character, I think T. John, who spoke in like Creole French. Yeah. But also it confused <laughs> me because I was like, when is this sent? Yeah. 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 The writing I, for me. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, Val. Um, the writing for me was really hard to understand at times, and it hindered my enjoyment of the characters. And if I don't care about the characters, I don't care about your book. So that's why I DNF. <laughs> there were parts where I felt like I really could have liked is it the main, mm -hmm. the main yeah, character. Was, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. Like there were parts where I really could have liked him. Like there were mm -hmm. parts where he was talking about like um, when he was with his auntie. And mm -hmm. yeah. and like the ways of like the gods and stuff like that. Like that was interesting to me, and I wish we had gotten more of it because there were just parts where I was like, I'm not entirely sure why I'm supposed to like the man. Yeah. Yeah, I was really fascinated by like the gods and everything, and like the mm -hmm. magic that was happening, and I mm -hmm. wanted more of that. I was just too confused by the rest of it for that to save it for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, because I think it's, like, built really well, like, the world. All of my issues with it, which is why I want to go back and re-listen to it, mm -hmm. is purely character. Because I know, I, I get the plot, I get what they were doing, but it's yeah. purely character work. And certain things that, like, I feel like of those character stories that Wait. didn't click in my head. <laughs> 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 um, also, Hallie said, I will say the last chapter is both the best part of the book and the most confusing. I did not yeah. read the last well, I didn't chapter. Get there. <laughs> so, the last chapter is essentially the captain and Domain going after this big beast that has been, like this necrotic beast essentially, that has been terrorizing their caravan um, mm -hmm. and other people for a very long time. Um, and then they find out that there's a second one. And it's okay. kind of an ambiguous ending. But does anybody mind if I spoil? No. I'm assuming not. This, this is a spoiler live show. We chose yeah. to DNF. So. Um, so it ends kind of ambiguously because the captain sort of distracts the second beast. Um, and then the main like arrives at the scene and he has a spear and it's kind of implied the captain kind of like willingly gives up his life in order for the to like to throw the spear and kill the beast. Like his, his death is used as a distraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just spoil yellow. You could have been lying and I'd be like, oh yeah, that's what happened. Um, I feel like so I read the last <laughs> chapter wrong. Did you really? <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I super read the last chapter wrong because I thought that the last chapter was him thinking back to something that happened while... Okay. No, it took so, me a second. It took me a couple of, like, retries, essentially. But they okay. killed the first beast. Yeah. Um, he kind of meets up with the rest of the caravan at the edge of the road, and he yeah. says to them, I cannot enter the road again. I'm in, like, there's, like, the road, and then outside of the boundaries of the road are the wild leaves. Yeah. Um, and he's, which is kind of like this ambiguous, like plane of existence, which is, have you guys ever seen the movie Doctor Strange? Yes. It's like Doctor Strange where there's like parallel universes within the universe and he's like within the mirror universe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and he basically says, I cannot like enter the wild deep. I've like become part of the wild deep. 
Um, and then he goes back to go kill the second beast. And he attempts, to, I think he's going to attempt to save the captain. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I appreciate the support. Yeah, so I will say, like, I don't know if I would have understood what was going on in the book if I hadn't read the description on Goodreads beforehand. Me too. It's yeah. confusing. I was, yeah. it's a very, I feel like the plot doesn't really reveal what it actually is until about halfway through. Because up until the halfway point, I was like, so what are they doing? Like, yep. what? that's there part was, of the reason I did not finish. <laughs> there was kind of a point where I like looked at the, it was like kind of through the halfway point of the book where I was like, did I miss a book before this? <laughs> yeah, because it just kind of yeah. seems like there's so much world, like world building and stuff that you're mm -hmm. kind of expected to know. Like when he's talking about the different towers of gods and how he's like descended from one, and the whole like Sim Soa thing. I was yeah. like, I don't know what this means. Yeah, and I just like didn't know what they were doing or what was happening, and it was also a little confusing because there were times where like the descriptions of what was happening, I felt like I could really picture everything. But then, like, a page later, I would be like, what's happening? Where are they? Well, like, certain chapters and paragraphs end in, like, very peculiar ways. And at mm -hmm. first, I was sure that the next chapter that was coming was completely different mm -hmm. than what was actually happening. And then something would happen, and I'd be like, oh, huh. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to I was I about love to you. on that comment. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love yeah, this comment. Um, more I, of that kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just like, it was supposed to be a very I was thing. interested. I was interested in the main relationship, but I wanted more to happen earlier. I am assuming more happened later that I did not read. There was just. <laughs> one quote that I wrote down that was um, <laughs> um, some a quote that really stuck out to me, which was not, again, not enough to save the book for me, but um, oh, something God. I really liked. And it was um, Domain saying, there'd never been anyone who could knife him with so with a momentary word and then speak the wound away in the next moment. If all those little boyhood heartbreaks had been supposed to make him ready for this, Domain wasn't. And I was like, oof. Yeah. Yeah, no, there are good. certain quotes where it just sticks out really well, but at the same time, it was I was kind of waiting for more development within mm -hmm. the main relationship that just didn't really happen for me. Mm -hmm. I will say for Leah and Val, since y'all DNF'd, if y'all thought that la last time Labyrinth Lost had like no. not enough relationship in it, this one has even less. <laughs> well, because they have to hide it. <laughs> like, yeah, mm -hmm. and there's definitely that to it, but I will say, like, even when, like, like, the, okay, so in the second half, they definitely feature it more explicitly, but I will say, like, it is definitely there even less, and granted, it's a novella. You still get a feeling for it. It's just, I didn't mm -hmm. really super care. I wasn't I invested. Personally, I know myself and I know how my interpret like not my interpretation, but my comprehension is sometimes. And I don't think if if I had like if I had gone into this not knowing about the main relationship, I would not have guessed it was actually a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because it's also very ambiguous up to a certain Yeah. Yeah. So Reagan, I think mm -hmm. And Sarah, really, did like, you I say your rating? I, I didn't did. say my rating because I'm still kind of deliberating on it because it doesn't feel bad enough to give it a one star. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the entire time. I think it's a two star <laughs> for me. It just okay. like I enjoyed it less mm -hmm. than Labyrinth Lost, but I've enjoyed it more than things like it. I've given one star before. <laughs> 
I read a review because I went through during those 40 minutes when I was eating. Um, okay, so a little bit off topic. I got myself some like popcorn shrimp and fries, and I was like eating that as I was looking at reviews. And as I was looking through reviews, one kind of struck me, and it was them talking about how a lot of fantasy books will be bad books, but they'll have a lot of enjoyment with them. Mm -hmm. And, like, so, like, there will be, like, really tropey fantasies, but they'll end up loving them because, like, it's just done in, like, this certain way. But it's, like, bad fantasy books that have, like, good plots. And then for this review, they were, like, Sorcerer of the Will Deeps is a well-written book that's actually a bad book. <laughs> and I feel like I... Because I, I don't know if I agree or disagree, because the only thing that really sticks with me that I liked was the writing style. Well, and like the plot, like the, not the plot, the, the world building. Mm -hmm. But that's not enough to make me go, oh, I stan? Like, it's I, just like, those are, those are written. I think it was a really good idea. I could see what was happening with the world. And I could see like there were peaks of when the writing style was really good like that quote that you said leah but something about the execution did not click with me mm -hmm. yeah. um like I'm, yeah. i know there's there's another book that's set within this universe yeah um by the same author clearly and i'm thinking about reading it especially if it's like the same length i feel like it won't be that like like if i dislike it it won't be that big of like a waste of my time um but i mean what you said wait, you said bad books that people enjoy i don't think this was a bad book i just didn't enjoy it. Yeah. yeah yeah i feel like this was one of those it's just not my thing yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. books well like what's interesting to me is on goodreads this one has an average of 3.6 and the next mm -hmm. one which I don't even think it's a continuation of this story. I could be wrong, but I, I think, think it's, it's just, just in the same universe. Yeah, it's just set in the same universe. Um, that one, from what I remember, because that one was on my TBR first, it mm -hmm. has a much higher average. It doesn't really. From what I remember, I can let me confirm this by looking at good. <laughs> um, his like. He has a couple of novellas that are available on Tor's website. I don't know if they're still available. They should be. Um, and some of them are like Shirley Jackson, like nominees. Yeah. Which is like a fairly big deal. <laughs> yeah, the next book has. Okay. Megan, no. <laughs> I'm not going to give it one star. <laughs> Why not? Oh, but speaking of which, I never marked it as complete on Goodreads. Okay. Can I say something yeah. off topic? Yes. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. I have been updating my book slot, but I have not been updating my Goodreads. <laughs> like I just, I've just, not that I've forgotten about Goodreads, but I just like the look at the other one better, even though it mm -hmm. constantly crashes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm waiting to do more on it until there's more of an update and it won't crash as much. Me too. Yeah. I... You just have to know what times to go on. Your book, what the book sloth? That's the new, like, good reads kind of thing. Yeah, that's not what it sounded like you said. <laughs> that's fully not what it sounded like. Oh, yeah. oh, well, no, that's not what I said. <laughs> that <was intentional. laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> that's what it sounded like that's exactly what you said. <laughs> <Right. laughs> um, I don't rate books that I DNF. I think same. Yeah, I don't either. I just mark them. I think I end up like on Goodreads specifically because there's no way to say that you DNF something on Goodreads. There I is. just put it back in my like going to read. Sarah, or, like, there is a way. I will show you later because you can make a shelf. You can make a DNF oh. shelf. No, I made a DNF shelf, but the thing is there's no way to say that you like DNF. Like like a, like you know how Goodreads has the main three shelves. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, what I can, always you, have to end up doing is put it, putting it back in my um, my want to read, and then putting it on my DNF shelf. You can able, you can make a fourth like main shelf and have I didn't it know that. 
Yeah, I'll, I will show you guys later how to do that. Thank because you. when I found that out, that was like life changing. I didn't know yeah. you could make a fourth main shelf. <laughs> Me either. I didn't know you yeah. could make mini shelves, which is what I've been yeah. doing. Same. Yeah, it's really helpful. Um, I started DNFing books a lot more in like the past so, like six to eight months. Um, yeah. yeah, if this was like a year ago, I think I would have finished this book. But I've started giving myself permission if I'm not enjoying a book to just yeah. not finish it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to <laughs> Sarah. do if, if we had just been buddy reading this like normal people, I would have been like normal people. But because, <laughs> because this is Bibliophiles, I powered through for the three of you and only two or Look, only one was, of you actually. I was very conflicted. Love you, Sarah. <laughs> I was very conflicted. I had, see, another thing. I pushed child. myself to get, <laughs> I pushed myself, to, rude. Um, I did push myself to get to at least 50% and I had notes. So I'm like, I still had things to talk about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, if I, if I make it 50% of the way through any book, I'm finishing that book. It's yeah, just a okay. matter of pride at that point. I could not. I yeah. went to Leah, I was I'm like, Leah, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's just no. it, it, if I'm at 50% and I don't finish it, it will be on the back of my mind until I finish it. Mm -hmm. With the exception of the fifth wave, which I have never finished. And I got oh, I like, finished that one. I like that one. I never finished that one. <laughs> oh, I have 25% five... of the way through, which is like a large chunk of the way through um, the secret history. I will never finish it. Lady Midnight. <laughs> Lady Midnight. Reagan, you've been fifty percent through Lady Midnight. <laughs> also, we we know. <laughs> Reagan has been fifty percent of the way through Lady Midnight since we met her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yes. Thank you, Haley. Thank you for not letting me down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay. The thing is, I've been on a really good streak this month of mm -hmm. not reading any one or two star books, and I was afraid that was going to change <laughs> if I finish this, and I really didn't want that to change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, just, that, that's mm -hmm. fair. Oh, should we talk about what we're currently reading? Or has anybody has sure. there, anybody picked anything up? Since? I have. I took pictures with incendiary. Well, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> I haven't made progress on it in days, but I've been like in the middle of this is how you use the time worm. Mm -hmm. I have while. not made any progress, Leah. We are. I don't think Liv finished either. Cindy's the no. only one who finished. Cindy finished. We were doing like a group buddy read. <laughs> Cindy finished. The rest of us were just chilling. None of us have read any more. It's like it's probably been like a hour? week. It's like a four hour audio book or something like that. It's really Ooh. long. Can I actually say something about this book relating to this is how you lose the time war? Yes, or? of course. Okay. So this is how you lose the time war. I feel like also has a very similar writing style and that it's very different and you have to mm -hmm. like be fully paying attention. This is how you lose the time war. I feel like immediately grips you with characters and already has you interested <laughs> in the plot. No. I like the comments below that, please. <laughs> no. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. You uploaded your Kate May video today. I thought I was gonna yeah, have to bully Kate you. Kate May video that. is really important. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, um, Kevin you're the overall oh, hi, Kevin. are that two of us, Dana. Um, yep. RC mildly enjoyed it. I yeah I, I like I don't regret it and I'm gonna re-listen again because I just want to know if I missed anything. Okay, and then I feel guiltily negative about it. I don't. I am free, and I do not have to read that anymore. But you know. I will say I'm very excited for next month's book, so hopefully mm -hmm. we will not have this problem next month. Can I say I'm... something? Yeah. Go ahead. Every single person who I know who have picked who picked up oh, our book no. for the next month no. has rated it <laughs> at best and at worst. <laughs> three 
stars. Oh, oh, hello. I have not seen a single rating above that from people who I know, but I, I have know. not seen below. You know, <laughs> so we were talking about book chats in our large group chat oh, the other day, and I would just like to pull up, I'm going to pull up my, um, they reading, like, I have a, I have a spreadsheet mm -hmm. that keeps track of like every single one of my, my reading staff. I keep track of like Aww. own voices and like what I rated and like um, representation and like all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, and so I have stats for what I've rated everything. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I haven't been giving half stars just because mm -hmm. it confuses me in terms of the Goodread system because I'm not sure if like a, a 4.5 is supposed to be a five or a four yeah. on Goodreads. Um, I have rated uh, two books, one star. Mm -hmm. I've rated three books, or sorry, six books, two two stars. Mm -hmm. I've given ten books, three stars. Twenty three books, four stars, mm -hmm. and sixteen books, five stars. Oh, that's good, actually. I just like, but like last year, looking at my like books that I read prior to maybe like June, I don't think I gave anything a below a four star. Like I just wasn't that kind of reader. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just like yeah. not afraid to be like, no, this sucked. <laughs> Same. Sarah said, not during gay pride month. Uh -uh. <laughs> you will not do this to me now. <laughs> yeah, I mostly give four stars and three stars because a lot of my three stars are like would probably be more like a 3.5 but goodreads doesn't do half stars so i didn't do yeah. half stars for a really long time i think i do want to try doing that at some point but like i don't give as many five star ratings as i feel like a lot of other people do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i have a lot of five stars because i keep rereading the same book over and over again Oh, you'll know oh what, book what book it is. What book is it? What book is it? Oh, the Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. The Seven Deaths. I am leaving this live show. <laughs> well, is it right now? <laughs> Half death. Only in the is. U.S. Only in the U.S. <laughs> Look at her. She's so pretty. I read that earlier this month. Yes. Yeah. What did you read it? it? I, I gave it a five star. Thank you. I feel like that would have like beeved my head off if I had given uh -huh. her anything left. Yes. <laughs> Reagan, she Listen. Has a copy with an arm's reach. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Hallie. I love you. This is why I married you. I think I've only given one five star this year. Really? I seven. Let me look at every book I've given five stars. I well, I I've given actually a decent amount of things five stars this <laughs> month, more than I usually do. Part of that reason is because I read all three volumes of Heartstopper oh, my heart. and oh. I gave all of those five stars. Yeah. Oh, I only gave half stars to the second one. So I've read all three volumes of Heartstopper, but the thing is I've read them online. I haven't read the physical <laughs> copies yet, so I haven't put them in Goodreads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. That, so the last time, oh, the last thing I gave five stars was, um, at some point when I was just like really bored one morning and making breakfast, I listened mm -hmm. to the Deal of a Lifetime audiobook, which is mm -hmm. literally 45 minutes long, and I gave that five stars. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I have never, fun fact, given any Frederick Bachman book less than five stars. Kevin asked, wow. how long did it take me to read the first volume? I think it took me like half an hour. Yeah, like 30 minutes. I, I read it so quickly. I loved it so much. It was so adorable. Leah, can you highlight the comment below that? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I also had Heartstopper right next to me, but that's because I knew we might need more conversation topics. Yes, that's exactly why I have oh, it. Because I so DNF the book. Um, speaking of conversation topics, I decided... Yeah because I had a weird train of thought earlier today. I was like, what if I talked about the vines that remind me the most of you? About the vines? The vines. Yes. Take wow. it right away. Um, and then, about vintage TikTok. What? Vintage no, I don't TikTok. use TikTok. I'm not cool. <laughs> no, it was um, mostly. Um, for Leah, it was 
So one is the little girl staring out the window and she just goes, I smell like beef. Oh, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> For oh about, oh, I can't remember which one it was, but I think it was the one of the, um, the cat who gets the flower put on his head and he just shrinks. Oh, I <laughs> love that one. <laughs> um, and then for RC, it was the, the one of the, uh, the guy who's like, it's like, detective, this is a crime scene. What, is this the murder weapon? And he's like carrying a bunch of like ice cream. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Have you never seen oh. that vine? I love that vine. You're going to have to send me that vine. Ooh, All right, Chanel, Chanel just sent us our like, favorite trope. a whole bunch of conversation topic. Favorite trope. So yes, I was about to say well, I'm, there yes. was only one bed. Okay. Uh, just like mutual <laughs> pining when they don't okay. know it's right. mutual pining. Yes. Okay, so Thank ultimate you. ultimate situation. Um, safe dating. Yes. There was only one bed, mm -hmm. but there's mutual pining. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Um, they wake up tangled. Yes. <laughs> Everyone else knows. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's just my ideal scenario right there. Mm -hmm. What's mine? I like families in romance novels. I like when the family's mm -hmm. like actually like not yeah. only like supportive, but they're actually part of the story. Yeah, I like the um the 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 fun grandma trope. No, they did not. Reagan did not finish the book. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Why is this like show like this? <laughs> <laughs> Chanel also asked, "What are your least favorite tropes? Um, miscommunication? Oh God, don't get miscommunication! Me. Absolutely not! Absolutely not! It, it stresses me out. It stresses me any, out so much. Any situation where a character has to be like, it's not what it looks like. Oh, I love those. No, I hate those. I, <laughs> okay. I hate, I'm not. No. I don't like angst." Have you all seen? Like a little have bit you all seen? Have you all read the Infernal Devices? Yes. Yeah. Is that yeah. trope in there, and that's why I love it so much. No, but okay. So that trope is listen the whole gem my gem like. Yes, exactly. I have a lot of feelings about the Infernal Devices. I don't know Me too. About the third book. The third book. Yeah, the third book, Infernal Devices, specifically. You didn't like it. There. Has everyone here read the Infernal Devices? I have. I have. Multiple I have. Times. Okay. Uh, I don't think Chanel has. But Chanel, if you want to read the Infernal Devices, get out of here. Okay. So you Chanel, know what leave me, alone. me off in the mm -hmm. Infernal Devices. You know what I find funny? You know what I find funny? What do you find funny? You spend two books getting yeah. this built up, and you think, okay, like maybe they'll do something in this next book to where Tessa won't end up with Jim. Maybe she will actually end up with oh. Will. And you know what I think I know is exactly funny? What you're gonna say. You, know what I think, you know what I think is really, really funny? What? Mm -hmm. Is that minutes after Jim dies... <laughs> I don't care about that. No other. Listen. No, no, no. no it's the other way around. No. RC, RC, you have it. It's the wrong other way around. No, 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 no. When Jem dies. Oh. Will and Tessa are like, all right, let's go ahead and smash. And then everyone sees this shit. And then, like, from that point onward in the book, I, I just, I, I, I mm, like, I just had bad blood until, like, the, the epilogue? The, yeah. the time skip? Like, mm -hmm. I don't, it's not one of the worst things I've ever read, because I still gave that book five stars. <laughs> but it, <laughs> it infuriated me. Because I, didn't I, 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 I just, I didn't, I didn't. And you know, you know what makes me feel validated is the fact that Cassandra Clare recently mm -hmm. said if she could go back and rewrite this book, it would end in a three-way. And honestly, that's probably <gasps> the way. She that said that? It had yeah. ended. Oh my that's God. the way. That's, that's the way that's, it should have ended. That's what it should have happened. That's what should have happened. That's, that's I don't what should have happened. It was the entire time. Like, here's the thing: is so I recently, like, I just recently read the internal devices mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the first and time. The entire time, it was like I knew it wasn't going to end that way, but at the same time, I was like, "There's so much buildup. It could. It could." Yeah. And then it just didn't. That's my favorite love triangle. Oh, I also love love triangles. 
I love I do no, think I don't the like triangles done well so in Inferno. Love triangles are very specific for me because a lot mm-hmm. of the time when you have love triangles, they call they end up um as what is it called love like vectors. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Never it's all just, the way. Like there's no yeah, connection yeah. between the other two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The infernal device is was a perfect love triangle in my opinion. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I also, speaking of love triangles, I actually like, because I'm not usually a fan of them, I liked, no no spoilers about this book, because I know a lot of people haven't read it, but I liked the love triangle in oh. Ever After. Yes. I know exactly. Everybody it's so good. Funny. Happily Ever After. Wait, which one? Felix, Felix Ever, Ever After. After. Felix Ever After. Oh, the one I'm reading. Oh, this is going to be a love triangle? Yes. That's so I mean, I- delicious. I only listened to it for like 20 minutes earlier when I was making food. See, so many oh, books so have good. come out recently that I just haven't had the opportunity to buy because usually like I end up buying my new releases while I'm at work and I just haven't been to work in a couple of months. So the yeah. most recent like buy that I have is um, A Song of Race and Ruin. Oh, I really want to read that. It's the most gorgeous book that. I've ever like. It's just, look at her. Look at her. Oh my God. So pretty. She's so pretty. So, I I like I want to read Black Flamingo. Flamingo. Yeah. Oh, oh I too. just listened to that on audio, and it's narrated by the author, and it was only like no, three hours long. That. Yeah. But apparently, the physical book has illustrations, so I do want to read it as a physical mm-hmm. book at some point. It does, huh? Chanel, you should well, probably read it. it with us. I I don't know who said they were gonna buddy read it with me. I think it might have been Hallie. I didn't say that I didn't like the Infernal Devices. I said I gave that book five stars. <laughs> I just said that it infuriated me. So, no, I'm not I'm talking about opinion. I think I liked Clockwork Prince more than I liked Clockwork Princess. <gasps> me too, Sarah. Yeah. I love you. That's my favorite. I, I need I to reread Clockwork. them. And I actually, I have the books with me. Like, I'm planning on rereading them soon because I want to reread them so I can then reread the. What what is the one that Lady Midnight's in? What is that series? The uh, Dark, Dark Art of Artificers. Yeah, that. So I can reread the first book and finally read the rest of that. So I can finally read Chain of Gold because I am oh, so behind. So I am so I've been doing a whole read through of like the entire thing because I have never done that before, and I am mm-hmm. currently on. Um, let me find it. I mean, I have a whole Google Doc. Mm-hmm. So I finished Clockwork Princess, and then I'm halfway through City of Heavenly Fire, but I put it down for all of June, and I left it back in Michigan. Um, mm-hmm. And then I have two more books before I can start Lady Midnight, and my goal is just to have that done before Reagan. That's going to happen. <laughs> I, I have no doubt about that. Yeah. We'll probably finish the whole series before she does. I still have not read City of Heavenly Fire, and I've owned it for, like, it is since it came out, so far, kind of a letdown in comparison to *Clockwork Princess*. Yes, I want to reread *Chain of Gold* because it's so good. And there's a love triangle in there that I feel like my ship is not gonna end up together. Oh, and are I, you finishing it today, Reagan? Oh, that is such a lie, Reagan. <laughs> who, who are you trying to fool? Reagan, who are you Reagan. trying to? Keep? <laughs> You're Reagan, gonna have to finish it today. If Reagan finishes it today, I'll buy her something off of her Amazon wish list. <laughs> There's uh, some motivation for her. Um, wait, but I read one, so I didn't, I forgot. Yeah, actually, uh, was it the uh, Chain of Gold? If it's Chain of Gold, then of course. I do love you, Reagan. I just also I, okay. Look, look. Let's be yeah. honest for a second. No, look not, Reagan. I feel like that's a lie. I feel like Reagan scrambling. So we didn't chain of gold. Okay, I'll yeah. read it with you. I'm so excited. I like how this has devolved into talking about Shadowhunters books. I mean, that's kind of like the Raven cycle. Oh, that's speaking true. Of, speaking of shadow hunters, um, Archie, mm-hmm. since you have such powers of detection and like finding books, if you ever find me a copy of the Waterstones Lady Night, I will. You will forever be my favorite child. Well, <laughs> I mean, I won't say that I'll look for it, 
Wink. Because <laughs> I have Lord of Shadows. So have I ever told the Lord of Shadows story? I don't think so. I oh, think okay. So. so this is a fun story. So the Waterstones, like, editions, rune editions of the Dark Artifices, and, like, they've done the two, um, not Bane Chronicles, but the Alec and Magnus, Alec and Magnus ones. Oh, yeah. That yeah. are out and um, Chain of Gold. They're very hard to find after they um, they like you know sell out. Mm -hmm. I found Lord of Shadows at Walmart. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! I found it on the Walmart website, and it was like thirty dollars or something like that. What? And I was like, it had the right ISBN, it had all the right like dimensions and everything like that. And I was like, okay. So realistically, this book normally in hardcover costs like twenty five dollars. If I'm wrong and it's not like the Waterstones, Lord of Sh Waterstones, Lord of Shadows, I'm out five dollars. It was Waterstones, Lord of Shadows. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. Walmart does have third party sellers. I've looked for the other two on there. <laughs> I can't find Queen of Air and Darkness. I can't find Lady Midnight or any of the others. Queen of Air and Darkness. No. Have you read it? I okay. haven't read any of the Infernal Device or the Dark Artifices yet. I've read Lady Midnight, but I need to reread it before I read Lord of Shadows. But I finally reread it so I could read Lord of Shadows. And then I never read Lord of Shadows. And now I forget <laughs> everything again. So I need to reread it again. No spoilers, but I gave Queen of Rain Darkness two stars. Oh. Oh. See, that is so long. It's deceptively large because it looks as large as like Kingdom of Ash. Yeah, but it doesn't. It, like when you look at the words are large, and it's also very light. I was blessed, Zoe. You're right. <laughs> Ooh, bookfinder. I will keep that in mind. Ooh, bookfinder. Oh, uh, Reagan. Oh. Uh -huh. Clockwork Prince is the best in that series, though. I like I like Clockwork Prince. Clockwork better. Prince. I gave them both five stars. But yeah, I the Piney. Like Clockwork Prince is better. You hate Julian? Ugh. I don't yeah, even know who Julian is. <laughs> I love Julian. I feel like I have I mixed opinions him. on Julian, but I need to reread the book and then read the later books to like fully form an opinion. Yeah. It's Will Herondale, Matthew Fairchild, and then Julia Blackthorne. I love him very much. What about Jace? <laughs> Do I look like a Jace fan? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, no, no, you don't. <laughs> that didn't come out of my mouth. I didn't say that. Oh my this, might be, this might be a controversial opinion, but I like Jem much better than I like Will. I like Jem so much. Wait, is that <sighs> a controversial opinion? I just feel like everyone, okay, everyone on BookTube is, like, obsessed with Will. And okay, everyone on BookTube is obsessed with Will. Everyone on Book Twitter. <laughs> Is all about Jim. I love okay. them. and Bookstagram. All right, I love them. I love Julian. I would die for Julian. Oh, <laughs> so we. I thought we had something, but no. <laughs> Julian is yes. I, I love the angst though. I'm sorry. Good to know it's not controversial. Yeah, I'm glad friend. people agree with us on who is the better of the two. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like Will. Will, but I love Jen. I love Will. Like, you don't understand how much I love Will. I'm I actually think he might be my favorite male character ever. I feel like I saw so many people say they loved Will, like, the best. But that was also, like, a few years ago when <laughs> I, like, started watching BookTube. So maybe yeah. opinions have I was shifted. about to say, I think it's an early BookTube thing. I mm -hmm. remember I saw um, Christine... The, like she she and Jesse did a panel at Y'all Fest back in November and somebody was like asking her about ships and stuff like that and she like went off about how much she loved Will. Yeah, she and, uh, Will. It's a very like early booktube kind of opinion to really yeah. love Jace Will. Is Especially like when people didn't know who like who mm -hmm. Tessa was gonna end up with. It was very yeah. Lessa versus Jessa or whatever it's called. Not Julian. The Julian slander in this chat. I will not I'm not here for it. You know who I feel like is really slept on? Oh, Zoe's not about to like what I'm about to say. I oh, really no. like Clary. 
I, I do really like Clary. Clary. No. I like, unironically no. like Clary. Like I really no, like her. So annoying. No. Like, I like I, Clary. Like no. she's not like uh, she's not like oh my god one of my favorite like shadow hunter characters ever. But I really like no. her. Like I kind of think that like the Mortal Instruments yeah. like the second trilogy slash the <laughs> continuation actually mm -hmm. suffers from going so far away from her. I think there are highlights. I in like her more in that. See, no, no, like I, I like her more in that. I don't like that she's less of a focal point. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was so thankful. Oh, so yeah. thankful. No, I like, so I didn't really love Clary, like first trilogy reading, but second trilogy, especially like when juxtaposed with um, Sebastian. Yes. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. I don't think I'm there yet. Wait, is that in the book six? That's in City. Oh my god, that's in City of Hell. I fully do not remember. I remember that. That at all, but I only have very vague memories of the entire like Mortal Instruments. Series. So I think that's when they go to. That's when they go to hell. Yes. I'm not there they, I'm like, I know they're in hell right now, but I'm not. Reagan. <laughs> Valentine. Valentine, I just didn't like as a uh, villain. Valentine, our unproblematic king. I see. <laughs> no. So I've, uh, I've said this before, but like my issue with Valentine, like my biggest issue is that he's always described as like this really big burly dude. Um, but I always see like, like Loki. <laughs> Oh, that's like fair. Tom Hiddleston Loki. Like I just see yeah. like skinny dude in a suit. Like when oh, I yeah. talk to him. No. I don't know. Valentine's an interesting villain for me, but he's just kind of there to like get the first three books going. Mm -hmm. yes. I was surprised by the fact that like, okay, so obviously I've only read up to the end of book five. I really like Sebastian as a villain, and honestly, he only gets two yeah. books. Well, like, and he gets hurt. Well, okay, yeah. he, he he has that second trilogy, but he he's barely he's not even in book four, like. But he not really like he's not like super problem. The, the, RC, a he's major like, plot point is the fact that they're traveling this magic home together. Okay, but in book three and in book five, I feel like even Shadow Hunter. Look, I'm just saying. Anyway, Sebastian, books three and five made me really appreciate him, and I. I'm very surprised about that because I did not expect to actually care that much about him. Like, as a character. Yeah. Sebastian is in the Dark Heart of Business. But you see him as, like, a flashback kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. I was going to say, I'm kind of expecting him to, like, blow up in Heavenly Fire. Like, just to kind of go out the way that, like, cinematic villains do. Like, mm -hmm. oh, we can't have you in the sequel. Kaboom. Not there yet. So I'm actually it's the first okay. villain I ever got scared of. What other conversation topics did we have earlier? Um, um Chanel asked about... if you could okay. be a character, who would you be? Hmm. I would want to be Anastasia from Fifty Shades. Oh, hell no. Goodbye. 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 Oh my god, wait, no, no, no. Okay, no, no. Henry? I wanna be I wanna be Henry in no. Kate May. No. <laughs> Stop. 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 Our CEO two days oh, without god. mentioning Cape May challenge. <laughs> Failed. I, I can't. Now that Celadon Books followed me, I thought I could let it rest. I thought <laughs> Chanel uploaded. They followed her you. They followed me. No, are they gonna give you an 800k book deal? I mean, I am <laughs> passing, <laughs> and I am writing a romance right now. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Is right. Male right. female. Yeah. Oh I... No, serious answers only. Serious answers only. Uh, who would I be? All my favorite characters are like, really tortured. So, I um, I don't know. I'm ashamed to know you people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I want to be Charlie from Heartstopper. I love Charlie. I love him. 
I like Charlie. I am. Hmm. What books do I like? Bear Town. Bear Town. I do like Bear Town, but terrible things happen to all of the characters in Bear Town. Um, I love Gans. I don't know who this is. I would want to be Gans. He's rich and he has no problems. I love Ali. Yes, Ali, I love you. Who who is that? What is that from? She's in Throne of Glass in the okay. fourth book. Yeah. I think. Yeah, but Elite suffers a lot too. So she does. She goes through a lot, and she also like can't walk. Yeah. See, I feel like all the characters I'm thinking of, like, horrible things happen to them. Exactly. That's, the thing. That's like, everything. <laughs> like, I just, I mean, I said Gansey because he's rich and he has no problem. But Gansey did die. So. Gansey what? What? He dies. That's, like, the whole point of the whole series is that Gansey oh, really? dies, which is why he's on the oh, Blend Hour. Uh, it's not a spoiler, y'all. It's not okay. a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. Never That's the whole premise of the whole thing. Okay. Um, I would want to be Lorcan. No, Val wants to be Celia St. James, of course, absolutely. But, um, can I be here? No, never mind. Um, yeah, I'll be Celia. <laughs> I don't know who I would be, who I'd want to be. Who else? Miranda, take back Nancy. Oh, I'll be real from Fury Born. From what? From Fury Born. Did you finish that uh, book, sir? Yeah, I have. I haven't read that. I need to read like it me? before I read um, King's Bane King's and then before Lightbringer comes out. Yeah, buddy read? We should do that. Yeah. Um, no, you only read Evelyn Hugo. <laughs> what? How many times have you read that Evelyn this Hugo. year? This year, three times. Last year, three times. Yes. Um, I'm on my seventh time right now. Also, I want to count at some point how many times in this live stream we have mentioned buddy reading. Eight. <laughs> I'll be the cow behind Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the cow behind now. Oh, I, I like would want to be, I've, I've decided, I want to be um, Lardo from Check, Please. Sarah, the way I was just about to say that. <laughs> Wait, who went in here? Lardo from Tech Please. That's what he's the, the um, poster PC manager behind me. Yep. yep. But then and Lee and I are the same person. I was literally thinking about it and I was looking at the screen and I saw my Check Please poster and I was like, hmm, who would I be in Check Please? And I was like, <laughs> Lardo. I was like, Biddy suffers too much. Jack, I feel like I'm very like similar to Jack, but also I could not handle all of that. Yeah. I'd also be Alex from Red, White, and Royal Blue. I love I, Nora from Red, White, and Royal Blue. Okay. Yeah, I love Nora. <laughs> yeah. I'd be the car in Red, White, and Royal Blue. There's a car in that book, right? Sure. I haven't read it. <laughs> the turkeys. The oh, yeah, the turkeys. Yeah. Yeah, RC would be the character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. RC yeah. would be the Absolutely. character. Absolutely. If I had to choose a character to be... Okay, yeah, no, I definitely know who it would be. Uh, oh. I would be Mystique from the X-Men comics. Nice. I would want to shapeshift. That would be so fucking cool. Mystique would be cool. Yeah, okay, if you guys could be a superhero, which superhero would you be? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Captain because I love my wife. <laughs> well, not that it's a competition, but if it were, I'd be winning because I love her more. No, but no, I wouldn't want to be wife. her. I, 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 We've talked about this. She's, she's my, my wife. wife. She's my wife. Wait, that way. None of that. So not Thea, but she's definitely not yours. No, I'm, I she's will say my wife. Like, when it comes to Brie Larson. I am no longer an ally to the Sapphic community. <laughs> just for that, everything else. Y'all can have. Y'all no. can have. No. No. She's but, absolutely not. Brie Larson, we're married. Yep. See, I feel like the three of us are capable of, like, what's the word? Killing me? Civility. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would be, 
um, Jessica Drew because Captain Marvel is her oh. best friend. Oh yeah, I love yeah. Jessica Drew. And she gets to like be Spider Man, but better. Oh. <laughs> Reagan would you be Reagan would be the Black Panther? Oh okay, God. wait. Are we going with characters that we would want to be, or that we probably would be? Want to be. Oh, okay. Um... There are too many that I love. I love a lot of characters. Yeah. I. Hmm. Oh, I mean, I have a lot of I have a lot of love for Zoya from um, the Grisha okay. trilogy. I yeah. love Zoya so much. Going back is to superheroes. Is a picture for me is a picture of Zoya. I love that. Um, going back to superheroes, Kate Bishop. Oh yeah. Kate Bishop is great. Oh, mm -hmm. I really love Billy Kaplan, also from Young Avengers. Mm-hmm. I still need to read Young Avengers. I know Kate Bishop because I've read like the Matt Fraction Hawkeye. The Matt Fraction comics. Hawkeye are so good. Yeah. Those are the ones with the pretty art, right? Like with that like this art style. Mm -hmm. That's the one where I think it was introduced that Clint was canonically deaf. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're really good. And they do not see. What? Marvel. They pretend they do not see. They pretend they do not see. <laughs> what? Reagan, Reagan, what? Did you hear Styles in the Adventures Adventures of One Direction? Yes, you were. Have you guys yes, never seen the Adventures Adventures of One Direction? I no. watched it yesterday. It was amazing. Um, I think. I remember I read a One Direction fanfic, and by that I mean I read like the one that like the page one of it that went viral, and it's the oh, one where God. it's like the mom being like, I I'm told you one direction. because yeah. <laughs> It's such a beautiful story. I love it. It's so it's like it's like the my immortal of celebrity fan fiction. Mm. Today. Ah, uh, my immortal. I was hanging out with a friend today who has a bunch of BTS tattoos. Like they've got like a Tata tattoo on their arm and like a bunch of like song lyrics and stuff like that. Um and one of the members or oh, like three of all three of the like rap line members of BTS have their own mixtapes out. Um and they have um, one of the titles, like Daydreams, like tattooed on the shoulder. <laughs> and I said, and we were talking about if it's possible for artists to sue you for copyright infringement for tattoos. And I said, if J-Hope sues you, will you slip him my number? <laughs> and that's my fanfic. Hallie, you read so many books. I don't know what you haven't read, so I don't know what to recommend that's you. That's the thing is that Hallie reads like 400 books a year. <laughs> Read like if 10 you like, a month and be like, oh my god, it was such a cool month. Oh, have you read *The Morning Ashes*? I love that book. Oh, I, I need like to read that. Really good. I need to. I've only read, read the first one, but it's amazing. Read. I like how none of my editions of the *Ember* and the *Ashes* books match. I know. Wait, which edition of each one do you have? <laughs> okay, so I have the second version of *Ember*, which mm -hmm. is like the weird in between. Um, cover change. Is that the gray one with the with the gold writing? Yeah. Oh, I have the first one. And for Torch, I have a hardcover, and Ember is a paperback. Mm -hmm. And then for the other one, I just ordered it, and it's the new cover. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have I have the so Barnes and Noble did a special edition of. Um, Ember with the hardback like people cover. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and then so and then eventually when I get um, Reaper, it'll be the same one. And then like Sky Without Star or a stor Storm, a Sky Behind the Storm, it'll be the yeah. same one. But my issue comes with Torch, which has not gotten the hardback yet of mm -hmm. the people. Yeah. I still haven't read those. I only own the first one in like the original hardback, and that's it. Really good. I'm supposed to see if I can acquire three hardcovers of Ember that all match for Joelle. And I think mm -hmm. that they're. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Hallie, I. Uh, Isla and I buddy read Spin the Dawn for our book club, um, and I really liked it. The disability rep 
was I, like I can't speak on it, but it definitely like was mentioned. Like, and it was like a canonical like issue for the protagonist. Oh. If y'all like nonfiction, uh, Born and Crime by Trevor Noah is really good. Like, I need really to read good. that. I need to Amazing. Read um, there's a uh, there's a, an Egyptian comedian who's kind of known as like the John Stewart of Egypt. His name is Bethan Yusuf, um, mm -hmm. and he um, has a book. I think it's called the like I think it's called Revolution for Dummies. Because around the time of like the Egyptian Revolution, he started like he so he's actually like a cardiothoracic surgeon. But he started doing this like comedy oh. show out, like out of his like laundry room, and it ended up being like a big deal. And they like took it to a studio, but then it was like banned by the Egyptian government. Um, so and then he, I don't think he can go back to Egypt anymore. But like my parents have met him when he did his like comedy like book tour, mm -hmm. um, and so we have a copy of the book, and I haven't read it yet, but. Like, I think he's one of the funniest people ever. I don't know if he's like as funny in English, but I'm assuming he is. I read two nonfiction books recently, both of them memoirs. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them was All Boys Aren't Blue. So good. So, I so good. good. I need to read that. The George I... M. Johnson book, right? Huh? The George M. Johnson book? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that cover is beautiful. I super recommend it. I. Def definitely feel like it's like a required reading book. Mm -hmm. I think the writing style isn't the best, but I actually kind of like that it's very simple and just very matter of fact because of what it discusses. And it's yeah. honestly meant for teens. And I feel like it is like, it's shit that I wish I had known about growing up. Mm -hmm. So like, I like that. And then um, I read, I did not know this person was a reality star. Um, the book called Being Jazz by Jazz I just Jenny. Read that. Wait, you just read that? Yes. I just read that. I literally no, I just finished, finished it. it. I finished it like five days ago. Yeah, I finished. Well, okay, no, I finished it like two or three days ago. <laughs> but I read that because um, I'm trying to read more transgender as well, because I will admit I've been bad with not reading transgender. So mm -hmm. uh, I read that, which was super illuminating. Yeah. yeah. So really also think that that one is, and that one's like super short. I mean, so is All Boys Aren't Blue, but like being jazz is like super short. So yeah. that one I think I is like there's a like lot of books that are coming out or have come out within these past couple of months um, with like really good rest. Like I like All Boys Aren't Blue, um, yeah. Cemetery Boys, yeah. uh, Felix Ever After. Mm -hmm. oh, Felix Ever yeah. After was so good. I need to read it. Also, I, I gave. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I gave that five stars, and I gave All Boys Aren't Blue five stars. They were both amazing. I haven't read Clap When You Land yet. Me either. I finished it um, a couple days ago. I really liked it. I read all of Elizabeth Acevedo's books this month, like every <laughs> single one of them, on audio. I love her books on audio because she is the narrator. Oh, okay. See, she like, when I was in Charleston, like, this time last year, um, the, like, uh, what's, what's it called, bookstore that hosts the Alpha is, like, one of my favorite local bookstores, like, just genuinely, um, and I ended up buying, um, What's the Fire on High? Mm -hmm. And I'll just, all of her books are just gorgeous. Like, the they're naked, so pretty. Like, yeah. I really want to get a physical copy of With the Fire on High. Oh, it's beautiful. And you land. Because they're just so pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Val, you, you were going to say something. You. Oh. oh, I was going to say that I just finished reading a book. It's called I'm Afraid of Men. I don't remember the author's name, but it's nonfiction memoir about a transgender Indian woman, I think. Mm-hmm. And it's really good. It's super short. It's like the audio was like two hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have this on my TBR. This was on like a bunch of lists when it came out. I don't think I've yeah. that. It's a little hard to read, so be careful with that. But other than that, it's really good. 
Yeah, the audio of Elizabeth Acevedo's books are great because, like, there's a lot of verse in her books. Oh. And so yeah. she yeah. reads it herself. I knew the Poet X was told entirely in verse, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that. Is, is with the fire on high the same? Or like, I know it's not um, entirely in verse. So but... Poet X is verse, then um, with the fire on high is prose, and then Cop and You'll Land, I think, is some of both. Though it's... Oh, okay. Yeah. I really cool. want to read them all physically also, but I love the audio. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I have so many notifications. <laughs> all right. um, do you guys want to talk about the books that you brought in for rest? Yes. Yeah, I got no, would you like to would you like to preach the good word? Okay. So the first book I run is The Seven Husbands of Emily Hugo by Taylor Jane Street. I love this book so much and I don't think I can explain how much, but it's just it's just I feel like it was written for me. But this book is about um a Hollywood starlet from the fifties to now. And you, they tell you her story. And I just love it very much. I what a surprise! It. It's no. a very, I can, I can preach. It's good. It's really good. It's and I, I read Daisy Jones earlier this year? Question mark. Did I read it earlier this year or last year? I can't remember. I think it was last year. I did not enjoy it. Daisy Jones is just okay. It I, weirds me out that so many of y'all did not enjoy Daisy Jones. I fucking loved it. I just couldn't, I didn't find Daisy likable in the slightest. Uh, I was just like, oh my god, this white girl with her rich parents, she's got so many issues, that's totally avoidable. Well, that means I, we, out. <laughs> I just love it so much. I read uh, Daisy Jones before I read Evelyn Hugo, so I didn't think I was going to like it, and look, look at me now. I wouldn't, I don't think I would have read Evelyn Hugo, like, as soon as I did if it weren't for Val. Because Thank I, didn't, you. I felt burned by Daisy Jones because everybody last year read that book and was like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. And the audiobook is like super, super well done. But it's like, yes. I feel like Evelyn is just so much more of a likable protagonist to become, because, because she comes from literally nothing. Um, whereas <laughs> Daisy, it like starts off rich and like spoiled. Yeah. Reagan, read, read the other one first. Um, Reagan, ignore them. Them. Um, read Daisy Jones first. <laughs> Daisy Jones is horrible. So that ignore way them. you aren't tainted. I haven't read either. So. Evelyn Hugo is just, she's just so much more of a likable character. And Daisy just Hallie creates read it, all of, she she literally just creates all of these problems for herself. And then it's like, why am I here? Why, why is this happening? Yes, sir. Okay, look, as someone who creates yes. a lot of problems for himself. <laughs> You're going to make fun. RC is like that meme, that um, Tim and Eric show meme where the guy shoots the other guy and is like, <laughs> <"I> can... <laughs> RC yeah, will like create problems for himself and be like, how could somebody else do this to me? <laughs> yeah, okay, honestly, um, yeah, probably. I have yeah. a habit of self-sabotaging myself. <laughs> I just love it. Like, you know, so much. Okay, uh, I, I also have a habit of self-sabotage, but every single time a character does it, I'm like, stop. <laughs> you can do better. Well, you know what? Zoe has taste, so, you know. Zoe does have taste, but, like. But Daisy Jones is just not it. That's just not it. Leah, would you talk about, like to talk about your selection? Um, I mean, the only books that I, physical books that I brought with me are the Heartstopper graphic novels, because well, they're I've amazing. I've never seen the back of the Heartstopper graphic novels. Me either. They're really cute. Oh. So I, I love her art style so much. It's so adorable and the story is so adorable and it just makes me so happy. It's so cute. I like how Andy prioritized 13 Reasons Why over us. 
<laughs> okay, no, I feel like Andy's developed Stockholm Syndrome for that show, where <laughs> he knows it's bad for himself, and he admits it, but he can't stop. I, yeah, that honestly is what it feels like sometimes. Mm-hmm. I've never seen 13 Reasons Why. I know about the, yeah. the meme. Like, it. I shit the bed. What? <laughs> Y'all haven't seen that meme going around? No. Okay, it's like one of the characters in the new season, and he's just like in a like a like in a hospital bed or something, and he's crying. And he's like, I shit the bed, and then like people made it into a meme, and then a bunch of people got really mad online. <laughs> All right. Okay. But it's like uh, people uh, people were like, "Oh, look at how good Thirteen Reasons Why is," and then it was just the picture. Oh my god! <laughs> well, if any of you have not read Hard Stopper, please read it. It's so good, and I like reading it physically better. But it is all available for free online. Mm -hmm. oh. Hard Stopper is the first book I've ever read with an Egyptian character in it. because oh. one of Nick and Charlie's friends is mm -hmm. half Egyptian. Ooh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Volume two destroyed me. Mm -hmm. oh, I was crying so hard. Oh, volume it's three made me cry. I no, volume two was like all of the um all of the Alice it was in like colorful like edition. Oh, yeah, I have yeah. Hair and I have uh, Radio Silence. I just need like the ones that aren't out yet. I don't have um. Uh, I was born for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I haven't know. read any of her other books yet. I've only read Heartstopper because I read all of those this month. Um, if you want to buddy read Radio Silence, mm -hmm. let me know. <laughs> I actually might be buddy reading that with someone else. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Wow, <laughs> Leah just said, fuck your buddy reading. This is the first time anybody in the group chat has ever rejected a buddy read. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had not already said yes to someone wow. else. Leah, you could have just lied. You could have just really said, let's read. <laughs> Wait, Leah, I think you said yes to me. Did I? I think so. That's even worse. Oh, <laughs> no, I... but it's someone else. Wow. It's... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Leah's just burning all these bridges right now. Reagan, Reagan's going to read it with me. All right. Okay. See how it is now, Leah. Well, you know what, Leah? I might also join them in that buddy read because I haven't read Radio Silence. <laughs> radio so you know, what? we can we can all do Radio Silence without Leah. It'll be Radio <laughs> Silence towards her. Yeah. Dude. We need to read. Uh, all right. Well, I need to. I need to read all of. I need to read all of her other books. So if Andy, anyone wants oh to God. buddy read any of those with me. <laughs> Leah's over party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> canceled today. Have I finished my beverage? I have. Well, apparently, Hallie has also oh, not wow. read Radio wow. Silence. So we, we really will. So all just do yeah, we've, just, we've got a whole party going on. Yeah. Well, we can talk about it directly in the main group chat, though, just <laughs> to alienate Leah further. Yes. Oh, Wait, I can't change the group chat name because it's still Zoe's birthday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll, we'll change it um later. Later. Yeah. Oh my gosh. One day we will read a little life. Yeah. See, we okay. Will. When I came here, so I've for those of you who don't know, I've been in Charleston for the past like two weeks with my dad, um, and I brought with me the Sorcerer of the Well Deep, and Black Leopard, Red Wolf, and the Priory mm -hmm. of the Orange Tree, and a little life because we were supposed to be. Buddy reading <laughs> the Priory of the Orange Tree and the Little Life. I haven't started either of those. Um, I did start. I read chapter one of Black Leopard Red Wolf, and then have not touched it then. Black Leopard Red Wolf. Andy, it's a compilation, right? <laughs> no, it's a um, Afro like fantasy. It's by Marlon James. Um, it's like about this person named Tracker, oh. who I believe is the Red Wolf and um, vengeful ex-boyfriend and like all this stuff. I'm for really some, excited. For some reason, I thought it was like a collection of short stories from the author. I don't think it is. No, yeah, no, no. I, I, that it's part of a series. Wait, what is Andy saying no for? I believe this is to a little life. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, because isn't a little life the one that broke Andy? That is yeah. the one that broke Andy. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Haley or Holly, it does. Okay, but so did Twilight. Okay, and like y'all didn't complain about the bestiality in that. I don't want to think about it too hard. I don't want to think about it too hard. I'm okay. I um, think. Claudio, we said we would buddy read it. Um, it was supposed to be me, Reagan, Leah, Chanel. Chanel? Chanel was supposed to buddy read it with us? I think Val was also involved. No, I was not. Who's in the chat? Let me check. Hold on, I'm going to check. It's called Suffering for a Little. Yeah, that is indeed what we named it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Let me find it. Let's Green see. For a little life. Yes. So, me, um, Liv, Chanel, Sarah, Mar, Reagan, and Kevin were okay. all supposed to read it. Val oh, was in the um, Mar just the started library of the unwritten group chat. Yeah, I just started picking it up. <laughs> we, I, I DNS that book. Yeah. I, love I those own it. But I just never go through. Wait, which book? Library of the Unwritten? Yeah. They I did ask. I don't know. Val, you don't want to read a little life with us? No, I'm so scared. And Val, you can just take Leah's place. I cry with Wait, everything. I'm reading a little life. I'm not reading no, a little life. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I, I agreed to buddy read that with other people. Yeah, I think they all agreed. <laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to cry. Oh, I'm so excited. I need to like I I feel like I've like been needing to cry recently. Mm -hmm. so, I, so I cried with everything. Everything. I know that book is gonna destroy me somehow. Did you watch Moonlight with us? Yes, I was yes. Okay. Yes. I did. Okay. I still I haven't remember. seen that. Yeah, I'm just spoiling. We can rewatch it at some point. All right. No, I'm never doing that again. No. No, but it was so fun. I had such a good. time. It was fun, but it was my soul cannot handle that again. See, I bared part of my soul to you when I showed you that movie. Listen. Oh, I'm I'm probably reading fifth season next month, so. I need to. Oh, me too. Oh, wait, the never mind. Wait, no, is, we're not gonna is the fifth season? Oh, the fifth part, season. Is it? It's part of the Broken Earth trilogy, <laughs> right? It's part of what? I I get my NK Jemisons mixed up. Okay, what is it part of? Is it part of the Broken Earth trilogy? Oh yeah, yeah. It's the it's the first. It's one. the first one because I we sell the. I mean, Arcee, you know this because you work at Barnes, but we sell the um the the big boy that's like all three books. That yeah. I want separate. The the inheritance one, right? Is it? No, the, we sell both together. We sell both have, from the big boys. I have that. The like giant bind up. Yeah. 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 There's two giant bind ups. There's the inheritance trilogy or the inheritance cycle and then the um Broken Earth trilogy. We don't have right. the Broken Earth uh, bind up at work. Oh, we have it at work. Oh well. You know, the, sure. the bind up I have is the inheritance trilogy. Maybe yeah. I'm maybe I'm no, I'm pretty sure like that there probably is one that like for the Broken Earth because I mean I would be surprised if there isn't because I think I've seen one before. Like, Maybe it's just one. a box. I think it might just be a box set. I still need to buy books two and three because I've not continued the series. But oh my god, that book! Oh, I and to go that. back to uh, love triangles, that book has a non-monogamous uh, love triangle, like I've heard. A, a polyamorous, and that book, that book. Okay, I do not know if N.K. Jemisin is an evil heterosexual, but N.K. Jemisin understands writing rap. Like, this bitch, this bitch, this mm -hmm. bitch. That's all I have to say. I need to read it. <laughs> However, uh, fifth season, it's dense. It's dense. Yeah. The okay. first 80 pages are going to be interesting to get through. There's so much fantasy that okay. I want to read. Because, you, I mean, you guys know I'm a fantasy reader. Mm -hmm. There's so much that I want to get to. 
I mean, RC, I'm no longer going to, it's no longer on my TBR <laughs> because of what happened. RC, recently. you still need to read Assassin's Apprentice. I do. I have it. Chilling. Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I need to read that. Yeah, it was one of my favorite books of last year. Um, I want to reread it actually, and then continue on with the series because I finished the first book and then I got um, that like trilogy. And then she has tr other trilogies taking place in the same world. And I got one of those for Christmas last year. So now mm -hmm. I have like six books, but I once totaled up the number of pages in the books of hers that I have. And it's like many thousand, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, so there's, if you go on the Wheel of Time Wikipedia page, there's actually, like, totals for, like, pages and, like, audiobook lengths and stuff like that, and Iza and I, um, I just randomly texted Iza out of the blue yesterday, and I said, hey, what if we buddy read Wheel of Time? <laughs> so I think that's what we're going to do. That whole entire thing? That whole entire thing. You... Oh, goodness. It's like three books or something? It's, uh, it's like 13, 13 books. 13 books. Oh. Let me find it. It oh. is. Oh, so it's technically 15 books. Um, so in paperback, it is 11,898 pages. In hardback, okay. 10,173 pages. It's 4,410, or sorry, 4,410,036 words. And in order to listen to all of the, the um, to listen to all of the audiobooks, uh, it would take you 19 days, five hours, and two minutes. Oh no! Wow! And we're gonna buddy read. Wow. Oh, I was gonna make the Daniel Green joke. Daniel <laughs> <laughs> Green, please no. No. Oh. Daniel Green gonna enter you in Issa's mentions and be like, suck. Ew. No, thank you. <laughs> no thanks. That's not no thank you. <laughs> Hallie's gonna finish Wheel of Time within like a month. Hallie will have Wheel of Time done within this week. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I just started it. Yeah, I'm already on the second to last book. Yeah. 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 It's well, fine. so it's really interesting. So actually, fun fact: Robert Jordan um, is a Charleston-born author, which you love to see it. Um, and a lot of his like original papers are kept within like the museum within the College of Charleston, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Um, but so he published these books, and for the first couple of books, like books one through ten, um, they're in the right order. But then book zero was published after book 10. Mm -hmm. um, and books nine through 11 are prologues. I'm going to read them in publication order. <laughs> RC, every single time I mention something about we were trying to get some How many more screenshots more you know it's complicated um, Claudio, when you have I to think, Google, like, a reading order. That's the thing. Um, Claudio, I think, so, essentially what happened was Robert Jordan passed away in 2006, question mark, or 2008, um, and he wrote the beginning and end of each Wheel of Time book, and then, like, wrote the epilogue for the books that were meant to come after. Um, and then Brandon Sanderson just kind of did the rest. Like he had everything like laid out and plotted out. Like it wasn't like Brandon Sanderson like being like, this is what I want to see. <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> Julia Roberts meme. What is the Julia Roberts? It's Julia Roberts meme. Does Andy have a secret meme? Andy. I don't know what this meme is. Andy, tell um, us what the meme is. Should I just oh. Google? I'm gonna Julia Google. Roberts. What is it? That's not Julia you Roberts. Tell all of us. It's the one. It's the math one. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking right now. Okay, that's that is good. definitely not Julia Roberts. It's I can Julia see it if it was like Julia Roberts, like thirty years from now, but like. Yeah, no, that's not Julia so, Roberts. But wasn't it confirmed that that's like a woman from like some Spanish TV show? 
I think so. Yeah. Do y'all remember this when um back in the nineties? <laughs> no, I was born in ninety nine. Okay, no, no, but this is something that came out this year. So back in the 90s, I can't, I can't believe I'm actually about to start a, 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 Okay. No, wait, it's not Julia Roberts. So in the 90s, Hollywood was going to make a Harriet Tubman movie. Oh, yeah. They approached Julia Roberts. Yeah. <laughs> Play oh, no. Harriet you know Tubman. You know what movie haunts me? The Zoe Saldana, um, uh, Colombiana. N- no, the one where she. Fifty days. With what? No, she's like she playing some historical figure. I, it was just in the back of my head, and her skin is like super, super dark. Like they, she did blackface. What movie is that? Okay, Zoe oh, Saldana yeah. blackface. Was it Maya Angelou? No, it wasn't right, Angela, was it? No. Nina Simone. Nina Simone. Mm. Yeah. Holy sh... That's... Yeah, that, no, that's blackface. Zoe Zaldana is... No. Yeah, a whole movie, a whole movie. I'm going to go turn on the light. We'll be right oh back. Wow. Never mind, I can't turn on the light. Well, I will say, on the subject of the Julia Roberts <laughs> Harry Tubman thing, Julia Roberts told them that they were the stupidest people that she's ever talked to. I just don't know how you can look at Julia Roberts, like, regardless of the skin tone thing. Yeah. But, like, where do you get Harry Tubman from Julia Roberts? I think that they were straight up just going to make, like, a white Harry Tubman movie. Like, I don't even think Harry Tubman was going to be black. I think they were just going to have Julia Roberts play Harry Tubman. Yeah, that's horrible. Would you be surprised? The nine, the nineties yeah. was some really interestingly yeah. problematic movies. Yeah, like it is a very interesting era because it seems like they were just like, whatever, we're gonna make whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, she does. Cal Cam. Name is Marge. What? Her name is Marge. A R N G E. Where you named her? She looks kind of more like a Jody. I'm gonna call her no. Jody. Jody. I am not taking Chris's on the name as much. I have another one over there. Well, so oh yeah, so I did. Having to do with cows, you know how um, there's that cheese brand called the Laughing Cow. Yeah. Oh yeah. So in in Egypt, you um, they like I mean they sell that brand like all over like the world. Mm-hmm. Um, and in Egypt, it's referred to by like its original name because it's like a sweet or I think Swiss brand, and it's called mm-hmm. Les Vaches qui Rit, which is the cow that laughs, like in French. Mm-hmm. And I just don't understand why it's translated in English and not in like any other country. <laughs> like, were you guys not ab- able to handle French? <laughs> French is too uh, 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 too exotic. Too exotic. Too ethnic. Too ethnic. Oh wait, Reagan named. Do uh, you know what? That doesn't look like a Jody. That looks like a Marge. <laughs> Hi, Marge. Hey, you're you're the worst. Also, it is getting to be eight thirty, so mm-hmm. if we we probably want to wrap right. up. Oh, okay. So, do we know whose uh, channel the next uh, one is going to be on? I think it's mine. Val. Okay. All right. Now are you are you finally going to be doing something with your channel? Yes. Yes. <laughs> now. Not the next hive rise. <laughs> That's going to be my first thing ever. All right. Yeah. Also, we haven't picked a date yet, but we'll do that. We will soon. do that. It'll probably be closer to the end of the month, just because yeah. I think that's what we're going to be doing from now on. Yeah. I really like this dramatic lighting. Um. We might be potentially doing one of those ideas that I had, hopefully. So, yeah. really so we can always announce things then. Yeah. I love you, Zoe. So much. Oh, Zoe. Okay. Um, so All right. So I'll yeah, next month we will. And we will be mm-hmm. making like an official mm-hmm. announcement. Our yeah. next book is going to be. Um, the stars. Between them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
which is currently, if you are an ebook reader, uh, three dollars right now on Kindle and Nook. I think. I know for sure. Books are pretty cheap usually. Is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you want to get in on that. All right, Hallie. Yeah. Hallie, I believe I think <laughs> this time I will be the one to read it the day before because I always over I always underestimate how long it'll take me to read contemporary because I'm like, it's a contemporary. What could it take me? An hour? I feel that. Oh, <laughs> Banana Michael, what could it cost? I think I might start it like right after this. Just because mm -hmm. I don't want to do it again. I will not be able. Andy. Bye, guys. I don't know what else <laughs> What did Andy do? See you, Andy. <laughs> Bye, Andy. Bye. Should we go ahead and gay as well? <laughs> yeah, we so we will announce a date for our live show on our Twitter. So stay tuned for that. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys can join us next month for the stars and the blackness between us, bet between them, between, between us. Them. Yeah. Between them. Okay. Between them. All right. I, I still need to get that book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you all.